I mean, I was aware of it, but when I really became aware of it was when my son was murdered, and that's when I became involved in a lot of things. And I used to watch TV all the time, wondering these parents that had their son or daughter's picture on their shirt, like how I just couldn't imagine it. And it really, like I said, it really struck home is when I became really aware of it is when my son was murdered, unfortunately. <laughs> With the gun violence, to be perfectly honest, I think you eliminate the gangs in Chicago, you'll eliminate 80% of the gun violence in Chicago, if not more. I think the gangs is the biggest issue. I know they've put more police for force out there, but, um, I don't know what they can do really right now because it's just out of control and it seems to get worse and the more patrol cars they put out, it doesn't seem to be doing it. Gun violence has affected me dramatically for the, it's consumed me basically for the fact that I now dedicate, my, like I said, dedicate myself to helping other mothers um, plus myself out there looking for justice. I go to vigils. Um, it's distanced me from my family a lot. Um, sorry. Um, I just don't feel like I fit in anymore. I, I have other children, but since then, I don't, it's just, um, I don't feel like I have a place anymore. And I guess that's why I have found, you know, through other groups, they understand, even like my um, own family, I, I just feel they don't understand. My message would be to please put the guns down, take a look at your family, your mother, your brothers, sisters, friends, that you pick up that gun, you're going to end up at one day somewhere down the road that you're going to end up having to deal with somebody in your family. You just need to put the guns down. The pain is just too hard for the families to deal with.